Hey guys, Sarah from Coursecraft here, and today I'm here to talk to you about PowerPoint. And PowerPoint gets a bad rap for being boring, but it doesn't have to be. A slideshow can add a lot of visual interest to your course and keep your students engaged. And in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can create a stylish and beautiful slideshow for your course and turn it into a video. I get asked a lot about how to add a slideshow to your course, and what you should really do is add a slideshow video to your course. Just having your students click through each slide without any sort of voiceover to go with it is kind of boring and not very engaging for them. And it's also not great for a variety of technical reasons, one being mobile support. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a beautiful slideshow and export it as a video. And I promise it's really, really easy, so let's get started right away. So I thought the best place to start would be inside PowerPoint itself. And I'm gonna use a slideshow to show you some of my favorite tips on how to make unboring, beautiful slides. My first bit of advice is to DIY over using the templates. When you first open PowerPoint, you're gonna be shown a whole bunch of templates that you can use. Um, and my advice is to go with the blank one and start creating from scratch on your own. Um, if you are sort of nervous about diving into designing your own slides, you can use a template, but make sure you personalize it as much as possible. The, all the templates are kind of boring looking, and if you stick with the templates for your whole slideshow, it's gonna make your uh, slideshow look a little bit uh, like monotone. My second piece of advice is to keep it short and simple. So try to keep each slide to one point per slide and don't talk about too much during each slide. And this not only goes for what you're saying, but what your slides look like too. Try to keep colors to a minimum, fonts to a minimum, and just any sort of visual things to a minimum. Simple is always better, less photos is better. Try to keep one point and one photo or one big image per slide. My next piece of advice is to say no to bullet points. Your slides should complement your message and not be a point form of what you're saying. So you'll see here on this slide, I'm talking about how I don't like bullet points. And instead of listing a bunch of reasons why I don't like bullet points, I've put a interesting visual representation of what I'm saying. So it goes along nicely with my voice over here. And lastly, you need to make a plan. You should plan out what fonts you're gonna use in advance. Try not to use more than two or three fonts Plan out your color scheme in advance too. You can use a site like Adobe Color or um, what's the other one, Color Lovers, and come up with a color palette um, in one of those sites and stick to the color palette. Usually about three to five colors is good. I've gone with sort of an overall style of bold images and big simple white text in the middle. And lastly, you wanna plan out your actual slides. So just before you dive into PowerPoint, just take a piece of paper and a pen and sketch out your slideshow that you, so that you have a plan once you get started. Okay, and so let's make a video now. I'm gonna show you exactly how I made this video on PowerPoint, and it's really easy to do, so let's just jump right into PowerPoint right now and get started. Okay, so here we are in PowerPoint, and you can see my slideshow that I have over here that you just saw. And I'm gonna show you how I created a video using these slides. So first thing to do is go over here to the top menu and click Slideshow, and then click Record Slideshow. And this is going to open up a new thing where you can view the slideshow and record your voice at the same time as you click through the slides. So let's see what that looks like. So you can see here the time here, it's already starting to record my voice and it's recording the slides. I like to use the arrow keys to switch from slide to slide because if I use my mouse, I find that you can hear the clicking on the voiceover. So it's just recording what I'm saying while I'm flipping through the slides and it's just a really easy way to record a video of your slideshow presentation. So we'll just click through each slide here until we get to the very end. Now we're at the end of the slideshow and it's gonna ask if we want to save those timings and we say yes. So now my voiceover that I just recorded there is saved along with the timing of the slides. So if we wanna check it out, we can click play from the start here and you can watch your slideshow over again to make sure it all sounds good. 
And once you're happy with that, you click File from the top drop down menu, Export in File Format, choose MP4 or MOV, MOV, I guess it's called. <laughs> I'm gonna choose MP4, make sure it's presentation quality and 1920 by 1080 is a good size because that is 1080p. And then click export to start exporting the video. And you can see at the bottom of the screen here is your progress bar and it might take a few minutes to export the video depending on how long it is. In Keynote, if you're on a Mac, it's really, really similar. You're gonna choose uh, the play menu and click record slideshow and it'll show you basically the same sort of screen where you click through the slides and talk. And then once you're done that, you'll choose file and export to QuickTime. So you can see that's a really easy thing to do. And one little tip before I go is during the recording slideshow aspect here, when you're clicking through the slides, I notice that it doesn't record your voice during the slide transitions. So make sure that you're not talking in between the slides, make sure you say what you have to say and then click the arrow key to go over to the next slide. But other than that, it was a really, really easy thing to do and I'm actually surprised at how quick it was. So it's a great way to add a video slideshow to your course. Okay, so I hope that was really helpful and you can see that creating a slideshow video is a great way to get started with video for your course. And be sure to give us a thumbs up if you liked this tutorial and subscribe to our channel if you wanna keep seeing videos on how to make an amazing e-course.